An ancient battle site was discovered near Thoron's lair. On the ground, an assortment of weapons and armor of the Daedra known as Golden Saints and Dark Seducers laid strewn about. It is from this site that we took up their arms and joined together as bandit companies under their names. Since then, as the only blacksmith, I have taken it upon myself to study these otherworldly artifacts. And now, at last, my efforts to reproduce the exquisite craftsmanship of these great Daedra has finally borne fruit. My mind is not what it once was. If my memory fails me, at least these notes can help the others keep the craft alive. One would be foolish to forge weapons from gold, as it is far too soft. And yet, the golden blades of the saints are nimble and harder than steel. How could this be? The trick appears to be threefold. First, the structure of the piece must be reinforced with refined moonstone. Second, the gold must be hammered into place while the gold is heated just below its melting point. Third, the introduction of the heart of a daedra to the forge when heating the piece so it can be hammered into shape completely transforms the attributes of the metal, giving it its uncanny hardness. The process for forging the dark armor of the seducers is similar, but requires more finesse, as you must balance shaping the unyielding ebony with malleable quicksilver. The heat applied must be very precise, or the shape and integrity of the equipment will be ruined. As before, introduce the Daedric Heart to the forge as you heat the material. <laughs>